Okay, we're gonna have to move into the uh, daily section now, the daily section. So um, if anyone wants to ask a question in the daily section, please use the raise hand function. David Dunn. Hey, Dave Callum. Um, just wondering, yeah. obviously this is another game played behind closed doors and you all have the Irish fans um, behind you for another fixture. Um, just, well, two part question really. First of all, any message for the fans that won't be there? And second of all, um, how much of an impact is it not to have the the raw the Irish fans behind you, especially on the way game? Yeah, it's it's obviously hard um, throughout the whole season. Really, it's uh, been tough, but especially with the Ireland fans, I think it's the games that I've played in and the important games they turn up in numbers, especially the away games. Um, I can just think of Denmark away when when Duff scored that header and, and we got we got the draw. Um, you you. Can, that feeling and doing it, I don't. I don't care what anyone says. You have that extra five percent in you when the fans are there, and it and it is tough. So, and the message to them is just to, to believe in us. I think, um, as I said, I I honestly think that we're going in the right direction. I wouldn't say it if I don't. I I, I wouldn't be lying to you. I think we are, and I just hope that they can believe in us and and we can get the result that they they all want to they all want these next two games. Thank, thank you. Cheers. Thanks. thanks. Any questions? Uh, Owen Cowles are there, please. Thank you. Hey, Callum. Um, I know we Hi. haven't seen you since Slovakia because of, uh, well, you were a close contact first and then you yeah. had COVID yourself. Yeah. Um, how much were you in the camp since then? Like, were you able to see teammates or is this the first time you've seen them? No, nah, I haven't. I obviously haven't seen, seen no one and even off the pitch as well now with all the rules and stuff. Normally, I'd I could go see um, some of the lads or go for food with with some of them, but at the moment, nah. So literally, I went. I played the Slovakia game and had to to leave through close contact. Um, got in, um, and then I think first first what well, I was there for like one day before, two days before, and I had to to go back the the time the trip after that. So it, it's been gutting. It COVID took away five caps basically I've missed five games and there was key games for myself and key games for the gaffer and key games for the team and I was gutted that I had to, to miss them miss them games but come through it now and fingers crossed now yeah COVID free and I can I can help the team and be around the lads and yeah you, you miss the boys as well do you know what I mean you, you get a bond on these on these trips and um, so it's going to be nice to be back around the lads and, and, and enjoying it yeah, and does, does missing that time mean I'm sure you miss out on sessions and what the manager wants you to do like is, is there a crash course you can do in a couple of days now <laughs> right for wednesday or is it something that you think it might take a few games to get up to speed no nah, because i sort of i sort of know what the gaffer wants from me definitely yeah. like i know his how he works from being with him um the well properly one trip and then uh what he wanted me in one of the biggest games under him which was slovakia and he put me in and I knew what he wanted that night. Um, so, nah, it, it's easy enough. I think as a footballer, you've played under a lot of managers. Um, well, well, I have, and different tactics and stuff like that. And he's similar to some that I've, I've played under. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it'd be easy enough. Like, right. thanks a lot, Callum. Thank you. Cheers, Mark McCadden. Hi, Callum. Hi. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously it's tough. There's only two days. Um, some lads like myself will, I'd assume, would have a a, prob a good session tomorrow. Um, obviously there's lads who have played this weekend. Um, but I think no no doubt with meetings and um, and on the training pitch, he he will definitely get his his tactics across and how we're going to how we're going to hurt Serbia um, and how we're going to stop Serbia as well at the same time because obviously they they're a good team. Um, so. Yeah, I think it'd be easy enough. He's he's done it before, and and hopefully, it'll be as simple as that to do it again. Well, he's, he's probably had one of the most unlucky starts to an international manager's reign. Mm -hmm. I mean, what how, 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 how do you turn that around? I know, I know. It's it's hard because, as you said, with the COVID situation, there's too many changes in a in a in the team, um, and. You think before you sort of knew the team two or three changes now and again, but obviously with this COVID, he's having to change 
eight players, four players, nine players, ten. As I said, by the time I'm sitting on my couch watching the last game, <laughs> when I walked in that first day, the whole team's changed. So, especially at international level, it's, it's hard enough in, in club level to make that amount of changes. So, in international level, you know how tough it is. So, fingers crossed for him and, and the team and, and all the staff that we can all stay COVID free and well and fit and we can, we can keep a, uh, the squad together this time. Again, sorry. So what would a goal mean to you? Oh, massive! Yeah, um, I remember the, my first goal, and you just want that feeling back. But it's horrible that there's no fans there. But if I can get a goal or an assist or something uh, to help the team, then definitely I wanna I wanna be doing that, and I wanna help the team progress. And as I said, the next two games, I think we have to have a good start. Um, we we want to start. We never want to be chasing um, and trying to get results. So. It starts Wednesday night, goes on to Saturday, and I'm looking forward to it. If I could be a part of it, playing, coming on, I'm going to give my all and, and help the team. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next week. Um, yeah, and, and as you said, every footballer wants to be back involved in, 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 in pitch time, and hopefully I can have that, that here. Cheers, and mate. finally, from Brendan O'Brien. Um, just a, okay. just one from me. Um, always interested to ask players. Uh, is there any is there any positives whatsoever uh, playing behind closed doors? No, not for me. I can't. No, I can't speak for for everyone. Um, some lads might like it. Less pressure or um, information from the gaffer can get across quicker. Maybe, I, but not for me. No. Fans is what fans make the game, and hopefully fans will actually be appreciated a little bit more now. I think because um, we've realised what it's like without them, and I'd say ninety percent of footballers would say that they want the fans back in uh, the stadiums, and and we miss them, and it's not the same. It's not the same without fans, and as you said, scoring a goal or getting a massive result, uh, Denmark away, for instance. What I just said before is that you. You remember them moments, but when there's no fans, you can see in the celebrations and stuff. It's it is different. It is different. So yeah, need to get the fans back, and and hopefully uh, we'll be in the World Cup and the fans can be there. Thanks, Tom. Cheers. Okay, guys, we're going to end it there. Thank you very much for your attendance today, and um, hopefully you can respect the embargoes which are put in place. Big thanks to Callum as well.